to Life with Mare. Today I'm gonna to be making Italian minestrone soup, so I hope you guys will enjoy my video. So the first thing you're gonna do for your minestrone soup is you're gonna take one white onion, you're gonna peel it, and then you're gonna dice it into small pieces. Then you're gonna take about four to five stalks of celery and you're gonna chop those up into small pieces, approximately the same size as your onion pieces. For this recipe, I used about four large carrots. Now, if you don't have large carrots, you can just use baby carrots as well. They work just as good. So well, if you're using the big carrots, you're gonna simply peel them and you're gonna cut the ends off and make sure that they're nice and washed and clean. And then you're gonna just chop them up into small pieces, probably about the same size as your celery and your onions as well. So the next vegetable that I used was zucchini. Now the zucchini is not gonna be put in first with the carrots, the celery, and the onion, but it will be placed in the soup later on as you will find out. What would any Italian soup be without garlic? So for this recipe, you need to use about four to five cloves of garlic, and you're just gonna finely chop those up, and those are gonna be added to your soup as well. Once all your chopping is complete, you're gonna put a little bit of oil inside your pot and you're gonna add the celery, carrot, onion, and garlic mixture into that and just give it a nice stir and mix that all up. So typically in a minestrone soup, you're gonna use red kidney beans, which is what I use, and you're gonna drain them. Now you can use canned, jarred, or you can use dried beans, whichever you have. And once they're washed and drained, you can just add them right into your pot and give that all a stir. Once the vegetables have been cooking for I'd say about seven to 10 minutes, you can then add eight cups of water. So the next thing for some flavor is you're gonna add some vegetable bouillon cubes. If you'd like, you can also use chicken or you can use beef and also you can use the stock. For some more flavor and also for that beautiful reddish orange color, you're gonna add in some tomato paste. So about one to two tablespoons should be enough for your soup. I also added some salt and pepper, dried parsley flakes, garlic powder and celery salt. After about 20 minutes, you're gonna add in your choice of pasta, and for this, I chose spaghetti. If you're using spaghetti, make sure that you break the spaghetti into bite-sized pieces and put it into your pot. You're gonna continue to cook your soup on medium, and you're just gonna stir it frequently until the pasta or the spaghetti is cooked, which could be about 10 minutes. Luciano, how's the minestrone? Is it yummy? Yeah. Say yummy. Yeah. Say yummy. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's the end of my video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, just give it a thumbs up at the bottom. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can subscribe and don't forget to click that little bell so you'll be notified when I do make another video. So take care, guys. Yeah.